people, welcome to our lesson. Today we are going to page 91, okay? But we are not going to see the new content today. We are going to see first the new grammar point, okay? Next lesson we'll go back to the new content. Uh, very nice. The grammar point, guys, is about reported speech, okay? Or in some places you can find it as indirect speech. The reported or indirect speech is when we want to communicate what other people have said, okay? So, we use reported speech or indirect speech when we want to talk about what someone said. We are reporting what that someone said. Direct, for example, direct speech. I want to go to the cinema tomorrow. To communicate this in the reported speech, she says she wants to go to the cinema tomorrow. Guys, important uh, thing here is the word that. It is between brackets, okay? Because it's not uh, mandatory, okay? You can either use it or not. It doesn't matter. We generally use the verbs say and tell to report what someone says. For example, he told me that she wanted to go to the cinema tomorrow. Or he told me she wanted to go to the cinema tomorrow. They're both right. When we are reporting something in the present, we don't need to change anything in the sentence, just the pronoun. I to she, for example. We also might need to change words like my, to her, etc. However, if the reporting verb is in the past tense, then we usually change the tenses in reported speech, even further into the past. Okay, we are going to see many examples here. For example, the first one, I like rock music. Reported, she said she liked rock music, okay? That is an optional word, it does not need to be used, like I said before, okay? So, verb tenses that change in reported speech. In the present, I like ice cream. She said she liked ice cream. Present continues. I am living in France. She said she was living in France. See, from the present simple and from the present continuous to the past simple and past continuous. Past simple. I bought a new phone. She said she had bought a new phone. She said she bought a new phone. They are both correct in this case, guys. Past continuous. I was walking around the town. She said she had been walking around the park, the town. Sorry. Present perfect. I haven't seen Peter. She said she hadn't seen Peter. I can't speak perfect Italian. She said she could speak perfect Italian. I'll see you on Saturday. She said she would see me on Saturday. I shall come later. She said she would come later. Remember guys, so the past of can, could. Past of will, would. Past of shall, would. Remember, we use shall instead of will to make um, to suggest things, to make a suggestion, okay? So, the past of will and the past of shall are the same, would, okay? But we have some, some sentences that sometimes are ready in a past and sometimes it's not possible to change them, okay? So, we'll see some examples here. Verb tenses that do not change in reported speech. The past perfect. I had taken English lessons before. 
She said she had taken English lessons before. I would come, but I didn't want to. She said she would come, but she didn't want to. I could ride a bike when I was three. She said that she could ride a bike when she was three. I should call my mother. She said she should call her mother. I might be late. She said she might be late. See, no changes. I must study at the weekend. She said that she must study at the weekend. She said that she had to study at the weekend. Okay, because must and have to, remember, they have the same meaning, obligation. Okay? So, occasionally, we don't need to change the present simple into the past. If the information in the direct speech is still true, normally this is used with facts. However, it's still more common for the verb tense to be changed. What does it mean, guys? It means that if the fact is still true, or if it is a scientific fact, for example, uh, I could use the present simple both in the direct and in the reported speech. Okay? Uh, but this is not the most common situation. Normally, even being facts, we still change it into the past. Okay, but it's possible to keep it into the present, so they would be both right. Okay? For example, direct speech. The sky is blue. If the sky is still blue, I could say, she said that the sky is blue. Or, if I don't know when that was, she said that the sky was blue. They are both correct. Okay? Okay. Reported speech in questions. Guys, uh, starting from the concept that the reported speech, we are saying what somebody else has said. Okay? Uh, we don't use the regular form of making questions in the reported speech. Okay? Because we are reporting what somebody else said. Uh, with that said, means that it is no longer a question. Okay? I am just reporting what was asked. It's no longer a question. Okay? Let's read here. When we make questions in reported speech, we follow the same rules as affirmative sentences. The difference when we make reported speech questions is that when we report what someone asked, it's no longer a question. So we don't need to use the inversion or auxiliary verbs necessary for making questions. Okay? For example, what day is it today? In the reported speech, she asked me what day it was today. See? No inversion. It's like an affirmative question. Affirmative sentence, I'm sorry. Okay, here I reported what someone asked by not inverting the verb. Direct speech. Where have you been? Reported speech. She asked where I had been. See? The direct speech is in the present perfect. The reported speech in the past perfect, where I had been. Here, I reported what someone asked by not inverting the verb and changing have been into the past, had been. So, from present perfect to past perfect. Okay? Another example. What do you do at the weekend? She asked me what I did at the weekend. So, from the present to the past. Present simple, past simple. Here, I reported what someone said by removing the past simple auxiliary word did and putting the verb do into the past did. Okay? So, what if you need to report 
a yes or no question. We don't have any question words to help us. So instead, we use if. We don't use question words in the reported speech, guys. So, do you like chocolate? The answer to that question would be, yes, I do, no, I don't. Yes, I like chocolate, no, I don't like chocolate. So, here, in the reported speech, we will say, she asked me if I liked chocolate. Okay? Another uh, example, direct speech. Have you ever visited New York? In the reported speech, she asked me if I had ever visited New York. Present perfect changed into the past perfect. Okay? Okay, what about requests when we ask somebody for something? What if someone asks you to do something? Here, we simply use ask plus to plus infinitive. Example, direct speech, close the window, please. Reported speech, she asked me to close the window. Okay? Uh, this is for requests, okay? But for example, if I uh, use in this sentence, she asked me to close the window, Okay, she told me to close the window. Guys, when we use the verb told in the reported speech, okay, it becomes an order. Okay, she asked me is not an order, is a request. If I use the verb to tell here, because at the beginning I said that you could use the, the verb say and tell, right? But, <coughs> sorry, in this example, if I change the verb to ask for the verb to tell, okay, it changes the meaning a little bit. So, she asked me to close the window means that she requested. She told me to close the window means that she demanded. Okay, she gave an order. Okay, that's the difference between the verbs to ask and to tell. Okay, guys, uh, I will send along with this lesson uh, an exercise, okay, about the reported speech so we can practice. Okay, next lesson also in the new content we'll have some examples too. Okay? So, thank you very much and see you next lesson. Bye-bye.